Hey YouTube, my name is Natalie Sayward and I'm a marriage expert from Toronto, Ontario. Today I want to share with you five signs that your spouse wants a divorce. While there are many different things to look for, these are what I consider to be the big ones. So without further ado, let's get started. One, your spouse is constantly picking fights. A sure sign that your spouse wants a divorce is if he or she is always starting arguments with you. While it's normal for married couples to have their share of disagreements, if it seems like your husband or wife is looking for fights, then it's possible they are. If you find yourself in this kind of situation, it's important that you remain calm, cool, and collected. If you respond angrily or get upset, it'll only make things worse. Instead, give your spouse some space to blow off their steam. It'll not only give him or her time to rationally think about what they're fighting over, but they'll also realize how well you handle those situations. Two, your spouse isn't willing to work out issues. Every marriage faces its fair share of problems, but how spouses handle issues when they arise is what makes or breaks a relationship. If your husband or wife isn't willing to talk about issues with you or brushes you aside every time you bring one up, it could be because he or she wants a divorce. By not dealing with issues, it's their way of saying that they've already given up on your marriage. If this is the case, you can still turn things around. Of course, it'll take effort and dedication on your part, but it is possible. For more tips on how to single-handedly save your marriage, visit www.preventdivorcenow.com and watch the video presentation. Three, your spouse is not spending time with you. While it's important for spouses to have their own lives outside of the marriage, if your husband or wife is spending all of their free time in the company of others, it is an obvious sign that they don't want to be around you. To get your marriage back in order, it's important that you make an effort to spend time together. This means scheduling date nights and setting aside to communicate with one another. If your spouse is reluctant to spend time with you, then consider the role you play in your relationship and ask yourself if you're doing anything that's pushing him or her away. For instance, if you have a habit of being negative or you nag them a lot, those are things you can then work on. And when your spouse sees that you're making an effort to change your ways, he or she will be more willing to spend time with you. Four, your spouse is no longer affectionate. This one depends on the couple, but if you went from holding hands and sharing goodnight kisses to strolling like strangers and sleeping on opposite sides of the bed, then it's likely that your spouse isn't happy with your marriage. Since intimacy is necessary for any romantic relationship to survive, once it goes out the door, alarm bells should be ringing. To bring the passion back, start small. Something as simple as a kiss on the way out the door or cuddling on the couch can reignite sparks between you. Five, your spouse doesn't talk about the future with you. When you and your partner first got together, you probably spent countless hours talking about what the future had in store for the two of you, from hopes and dreams to schedules and lifestyles, you had it all sorted out. If your husband or wife is no longer including you in their future plans, it's probably because they want a divorce. Once a spouse starts thinking for one instead of two, it's not usually a good sign. To prevent divorce, it's important that you keep communication open between the two of you and make a point to talk about where you see yourselves going. Again, your husband or wife may be reluctant to talk about these things, but with a bit of effort and patience, you should be able to get him or her to open up. Well, there you have it. Five major signs your spouse wants a divorce. If you're seeing these in your marriage, don't panic. You can still save your love life. 
Again, for more tips on how to do so, visit www.preventdivorcenow.com and watch the video presentation. That's all for this video. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, take care.